Finally someone checking on me my goodness it's a tad chilly in this room. I've been waiting till the cows have come home. Sorry for the wait we're extremely busy today. Is there a problem? As I was putting on the hospital Johnny the nurse instructed me to take it back off. Unfortunately. That's an odd word to use young man. I have some information important to your case. What information dear? I completed the process. It's just formalities. It isn't uncommon. I see. Being asked to put my clothes on again, is there a new type of protocol I'm unaware of? No ma'am. Look. My back is killing me. Even sitting on this exam bed. It's a struggle. When are we getting started? I understand you're being anxious. I'm really sorry Mrs. Foster. You're scaring me. Is there something you have to tell me? From what I understand, you've been a gracious cooperative patient throughout. It was in my best interest, of course. This is the part of my job I'm most uncomfortable with. I hear something awful in your voice. You're bumping me down the list for some rich tycoon wife whose wallet is the size of an elephant's buttocks. I'm sorry, that's not it. What is it then you're starting to upset me spit it out? We won't be able to perform the surgery at all. Your insurance paperwork didn't go through. This isn't some small formality you uneducated fool go back to college. No this is a mistake. Is the insurance data entry employee new or what? I'm sorry ma'am. What do you mean you're sorry I've had this appointment for months I was cleared I received the phone call stating this. You're welcome to speak with registration. They're open till 5.30, or call your insurance. Oh please don't act like you care because I know you people don't give a gosh darn patooty what an old woman goes through. I do apologize this isn't easy for us either. You apologize one more time I'll spit on your perfectly shined hard bottom shoes. This reaction is expected. Expect a reaction of me on my husband. Suing the pants off this rundown factory you call a hospital. No need. To become unraveled. It isn't necessary. Don't you dare speak to me on how I should act. Young man or way out of line I can't begin to express this. I didn't mean to be. I hope you heard the word through that stupid gadget in your ear. We're going to sue you people. On what grounds? I saw your file. Perhaps legal aid could be of assistance as well. Don't pretend to be concerned how we get funds to ruin you money-hungry useless folks. It's none of your business. Stop poking your big nose where it doesn't belong. My, my, my. Wow. Look at you smiling at me like you're invincible to getting older, needing surgeries one day. It's disgusting. Ma'am. I have to get back to my desk. Don't try to hide your smug face on a high horse judging me. For someone who takes orders many hours a day, try delegating your own life. That tie doesn't even go with that cheap suit. That's right, sir. It's a $3,000 suit, ma'am. Karen. Karen. Earth to my wife. Snap out of it. I'm right here, Jack. You don't need to yell. You were far away off to a place I could not reach. You didn't notice I walked in. I was collecting my thoughts. I mean this in the honest of sincerity. Who were you talking to just now I heard you? Am I not allowed to have private moments to speak to the Lord Christ and Savior? You were not praying. Let it go. I don't see anyone here and I didn't see anyone leave. I think you may need serious psychiatric help. No. This has been happening a lot lately. What exactly are you insinuating, dear? 
since you're exercising great care for my feelings. Your brain working overtime to compensate for our problems and a huge void of friendship. That's what I have you for but it's been useless. You won't let me get close anymore. I'm going under the knife today. Paid for. By shoddy homeless people's insurance. I don't need this. It's scary to witness what's happening. You having a full-blown conversation with yourself. It's bothering me even our son mentioned this while you were taking a bath. I told him you're under a little stress you'll be fine. Would you like the answer to your question? I was just asking who was in the room. I'm not trying to be difficult on a day that must be hard to cope with. You're just being yourself. That's all. I've been in this marriage with you a very long time. I know what to expect. I had a strange premonition, Jack. About what? I don't know. Just a strange feeling something might go wrong like my surgery might not happen. And I need it so badly my goodness what am I going to do if things go wrong? Will you stop? Think positive for once. Our son's out in the waiting room eating a hero sandwich. What size is it and what else is he eating with it? Let the boy do what it takes for him to not have to worry about his mother. He has a food addiction. Remember? I'm monitoring him. You're about to cry. I can feel it. I'm all cried out. I really don't know what to say in this moment only that it'll be fine. You have to believe me. It won't. You ought to realize it's just another knockdown in life we're experiencing. We'll fix this if it's the last breath I got to please you. Save it. That's the lesson for today. I had no idea the Goldmans owned this hospital. Now do you see how much these control freaks puppetize our lives? This is beyond dire. I said this repeatedly Jack am I speaking Swahili or English? Cheese and goddamn crackers. There are other facilities don't be dramatic. You mean like this room with a frozen screen heart monitor from the last patient? Where? Over there Jack. They put me in this room on purpose they knew things weren't working properly. Look whatever you see it's just a coincidence. What room are you in? Because the junk monitor is sitting right over there in that dusty corner. It's working. Look at it. It was not earlier I'm not crazy. They're playing hardball with our sanity. We might need machine guns to get them to stop the attacks. I'm all out of ideas. Starting this process all over again is absolutely nuts and wacko. A new screening. Consultations. Visits. New doctors putting their grubby paws all over my body. Bouncing me around. Sounds like a living goddamn nightmare. Might not be as bad as you think, Karen. Remember glass half full instead of empty. We're living in recent times. Overpaid quack doctors. Dominating the nation. Inflation is insane. Healthcare is hard to come by if you're broke. It was an insurance issue anyway. No, it wasn't. It was. Once again, you're blind to the facts. It was Richard. He told them to kick us out, you idiot. Don't call me names. You promised you wouldn't anymore. I took a page out of your book, I lied. Wow. The normal reaction is to blame you. I don't know where to turn next. It's my fault anyway, honey. I should have never underestimated Richard when he came into my office those years ago. 
I'm glad we agree on something for a change. I'm sorry I'm just frustrated and sick of this underhanded despicable treatment we keep getting. I understand. Everywhere we go, we're blackballed. Like some Hollywood criminals who come from the wrong side of the tracks. On a brighter side, at least now we know how it feels. We can make a difference for others in a major way. Hopefully, someday soon. Shut up, Jack, seriously. This isn't a goddamn Disney movie, it's me sitting here in pain. With a messed up spine and no relief in sight. what I asked for. Mark, what kind of greeting is that to give your brother? Not a very good one, I guess. You're showing growth. Before it took you forever to hold yourself accountable when we were kids. You said it right there. I was a kid. But surely you can forgive me for being rude. Of course. Mother forced me to give you passes a long time ago. I'm sure she did. Anyway, I have the cash. Fives and ones like you requested. Thank you. Digital money's much better. More protection, less hassle. Remember someone vandalized my truck? I'm not taking any chances. How are these small bills relevant to the vandalism? David, think about it. <clears throat> Mark my words. Excuse the pun, but cash is going to be obsolete one day. Really? In any case, it's never a problem to help you out. Your family. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Hey, did you notice we're almost dressed alike? We're brothers, of course, we have similar taste, but who do you think's the better dresser? You're looking at him. Are you sure? You didn't listen to Dad on the day of my graduation? He told you. Yeah, I know. You were his favorite. Not true. He loved us the same. I might let you win this argument. You don't have a choice. Invest in mirrors sometimes. You got me there. I want you to know, whenever you need anything from me, I'm there. I know, David. Thank you. So, you took a new job here, I see. No. What do you mean? You were sitting in a seat for employees. They're at lunch, I guess. These are the kinds of things I like to do. It's sort of adventurous. I was watching the news shortly before I got here. Authorities say they still have no solid leads regarding the murders they think Richard Goldman possibly committed. I'm not here to talk about Richard. He's the farthest subject from my mind. Wow. Mark, I'm sorry for snapping. Did I press a sore topic button? You know me very well. I keep money on the brain daily, not people. Good. I'm sure you can relate I have things on my mind. And Lauren too. Never forget your wife. <clears throat> Seems like you never take a day off from worrying about us. It makes you sick inside I wish you could see that. You might be right. I try to do right by people so the universe doesn't deal with me accordingly. So when my friends post on their social media, I won't automatically assume it's about me. We should be leaving. 
I think. Lauren's mad at me I haven't been able to sleep knowing she hasn't forgiven me. It's not that deep. Really Mark. I hope not. She told me she ran into you at the hospital while she was visiting a friend. I see. I thought she was running errands for you there. Maybe not there perhaps you're mistaken. I don't think so. A wife does a lot of things for her husband. At different times and days. Maybe you got something mixed up from what Lauren told you. Maybe so. Anyway, she told me you both disagreed in a conversation happens to people all the time. There are more important things to dwell on. I hope we're good David I didn't mean to upset her. She's not mad at you she's fine. I love my sister-in-law. Let's get out of here, grab lunch, take it back to my place. I'm buying. I just borrowed money from you David. So it means I can pay for my own. It's fine. Lauren and I just wrapped up a big job the check cleared this morning. Don't worry about the small shit lunch is on me. Okay. I must warn you. I like Red Lobster's biscuits with a passion. I need a moment. You need to check on our son. Make sure he's not reading terrorists' magazines, or hasn't held up cafeteria workers by gunpoint. What on earth? I'm serious. Enough talk about weapons. You never shot anyone, and I think that's the problem. Otherwise, the Goldmans would be pushing up daisies by now. Karen, what has gotten into you? We never spoke about those kinds of things out of protection for our family. Well, what's the answer since you want me to answer your questions every time I look around? I'm not going to. It's not important. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear your last few sentences. And these comedic, exaggerated claims about our son's habits isn't helping him, or... You. You're right, Jack. I didn't mean what I said. I don't even like guns or violence. But I will say and I mean it because I'm exhausted. If the horrible, self-centered Goldmans are going to take away my surgery like this, I'm going to take what they have in this room. That isn't nailed down. I'm with you honey whatever makes you feel better, I'm on board. No objection here. We're a pathetic pair. Aren't we? Let's admit it. Look. I've been looking for years. What do you want me to see Jack? We have to recoup what they have stolen from us and our child. Which doesn't begin to make up for the loss of our dignity and self-respect. Time to even the score. Right. We sure do we won't take this lying down anymore. Forget it. But I thought that's what you were working on dear I'm sick of your tall tales. To last a lifetime. My goodness. I am. I'm handling things my way. My parents and Caroline. They warned me. I'm tired of this. At least you're at the right place. But I doubt if you will get any service. Even if you shed blood, it won't matter. Karen. Do whatever it is you're going to do. We'll be in the lobby don't be long. The next bus is at one. What's on your mind? I was thinking. Did you know honey contains a substance that helps the brain work better? I do. And one of the world's first coins had a B symbol. I knew you took my book David. I left it on the nightstand when I went to go get the last piece of cherry pie. Guilty. I knew it. 
You went to get the pie mom made, but I hadn't popped Brenda's cherry yet. I'm supposed to keep up with all the ladies you had. You lied told her I wasn't home when she called. That's why I hid your book. Well, I officially apologize to you, brother. She gave me the panties a week later. All is forgiven. You always knew how to revolutionize your approach, which turned women on apparently. I don't want to brag. But you are, of course. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll was a code I lived by at one point. I invited you multiple times, but you always had something better to do. Not my department, honestly. It was true. You never wanted to enjoy while the getting was good. I know. Are you still having nightmares and talking in your sleep? <clears throat> They're not as bad as before. My wife can attest to that. Speaking of wives, my wife's live in boyfriend deserves the harshest punishment, brought to the last inch of his death. You really should stay out of it. You're getting a divorce. It's not official. I don't think she wants to go through with it if she's telling me their business. She's trying to have her cake and eating it too. Oh, I doubt that. I still love my wife. What the fuck is wrong with you, Mark? She's about to be your ex. Not important right now. That mangy dog won't hunt anymore. Let it go. Not yet. You've said enough. Plus, you love your wife and still have a functioning marriage. <clears throat> It's not always peaches and roses, trust me. And why in the hell would any man would want a woman who slams her cootie on the nightclub floor like a bag of ice? She's a real actress, David, playing parts that's not fair. Tell me about it. If you can explain her distasteful ways. Next five dinners are on me. I don't like what she's doing to my only brother. And that's not fair either. Not to you or me, Lauren, or our family. I question whether you really care about me. You're not serious. I am. I always go visit you. But you're conveniently never there. I work long days. You should let me know in advance. You haven't checked on me in months. Anyway. I'm telling you, David. What a fine specimen she left me for. Who cares if he has money? He's an outrageous lazy dopehead, whose parents never gave a shit about him. Fuck them both. Period. Hungry vicious wealthy monster is back to finish the job, am I correct? Am I right? Why keep me in suspense? Anyway, it's written on that ugly beard of yours. You're basking in the glow of victory about another heinous crime you just committed against me and my family. First of all, you fucked around and found out again second are you in the least bit concerned why your clown of a husband and of a white child watch it have not entered this room to remove you from harm's way why because I had security toss them out onto the curb where they belong they can't get back in Why did you do that, Richard? How evil can you be? Are you demented and nuts? 
go play on the train tracks with a permanent blindfold on during rush hour. This is just the beginning. Your days are numbered I swear you won't get away with everything you've done. And I'm going to be clapping in the front row. Where have you been Karen? I already have. Who knew I'd be dealing with this today in my life? You knew. This would be the fate you would meet. Oh heavens God help us at some point please answer my prayer. If they haven't been answered by now. That should tell you who's God. And who would that person be Richard? The king standing in front of you. Oh please I'd rather be dead. Than allow you to cover my family. You think I would do such a thing? No dear. I wouldn't. Be glad that you. And your family. I'm not covered with dirt at the graveyard right now. More threats and foolishness. No. More pain. I will force you and your worthless husband to endure. Till the rest of your days. You had my surgery cancelled Richard. How can you live with yourself? You honestly thought. Attempting to pay someone. My secretary who's worked with my company for years to kill me was going to be forgotten about? Oh, didn't mean to offend. I was just saying, well, it wasn't supposed to. I was kidding, why would I? Mr. Goldman. Do you think I would have you killed by a person close to you? Come on, it's stupid. That's what you are. Karen, I don't give a right sass what you thought. Save your stuttering words for someone who's listening. Because I'm not. Well. I'm not finished with you. Or your husband. Understand that. Please tell your secretary I'm sorry if I made her uncomfortable. I was making interesting conversation that's all. Five hundred dollars? For a man like me. What were you going to do? A payment plan? I wasn't serious. Repercussions you will continue to receive. Will be. More than serious. I saw you going through the cabinet. Were you looking for supplies to steal? Did you know avoiding a question is pretty much equivalent to confirmation? Please. No it isn't. Damn you. I rebuke you, Satan, from the Garden of Evil. I will definitely see the Fosters in Hell. When it's my time. I was not stealing, I don't care what you think. It's something you must do, Karen. No, I don't. I'm carrying on. I wouldn't blame you. When the man in the home is taking up space and not contributing. He still has his job. If that's what you want to call it. He's essentially a candy striper now. Go to Hell. He doesn't volunteer. His paycheck says otherwise. How's your back? Is it still aching? I'll make it. Especially since you gave me walking papers for my job at the gas station. And that's just wonderful. How am I going to put food on the table now? Don't speak to me about your perpetual issues. I don't. Fucking. Care. I can't believe this, what an ongoing nightmare. Not my problem if you're not capable of comprehension. It's always you. Messing up our lives. Fucking right. You're a louse. You better. I better what? You better leave us alone or we will have a kick each other in the leg session. Right here, right now, let's go Richard. I'm willing to risk it all for the people I love. Very good. Now, I was hoping for a money competition. But you and I both know. You can't withstand the pressure. You will be crushed. You and Jack were not a challenge then. You're not good enough. Ever. This is quite tough, God. Very humiliating. Agreed. Entertain for just a moment. I have a family, please consider Richard, it doesn't cost you anything. 
Are you going to the police with the solicitation? No. I'm not. Thank you, Mr. Goldman. Never again it was a bad decision on my part. It was. When I'm through with you. You'd wish I had. Turned you in. Because my punishment. Is much worse. This can be a start. Of something amazing between two families. I know there's good in your heart. Not for you. Can't you change your mind? The Lord above will bless you. We'll move away. To a new country you'll never see us again. Talk to someone else. About your religious bullshit. And plans you can't afford to execute. Look. You heard what the fuck I said. If you ever. Try to solicit. On my life again. You won't need surgery. You'll need a body bag. Talking like this but you didn't commit those murders. Sure. In all fairness, if I were to be successful the second time around, who's going to carry out your wishes against my life? Good question. But I really don't think you want to find out. Now here's a question for you. After my death, when you become suddenly childless, can you have more children? Sí, señora. Necesitaré su tarjeta o número de registro médico, por favor. Excuse me, please. Can you tell me if Gloria is here today? One minute, please, mister. Speak English. Entiendo. Puedo concertar la cita por teléfono. Speak English. Last warning. No es un problema. Si estoy en el escritorio no me importa mostrarle qué piso y departamento necesita, señora. Me recuerdas a mi madre. Oh. Getting on my nerves already pipe down about your mother and answer my question with your unprofessional ass or else. Do you see? Inside.